Happy holidays, guys. I'm Brooke Brown from Teach Outside the Box. Welcome to my holiday STEM challenge series. It is the most wonderful time of the year. It is December where we need to pack in all of the engagement for our students this month. Yes, it can be very crazy. It can be very busy. It is a short month, but that means it is also the perfect month to put in some Christmas themed STEM challenges for your students. So I'm gonna share three of my favorite STEM challenges that I've used with my kids in my class for many years. These are gonna be appropriate for kindergarten all the way through fifth grade. Very easy to differentiate. You can put these into stations in your class. You can incorporate them into your winter parties, even involve some parents. You can pair upper grade and lower grade classes together for these challenges. They're gonna be so easy to put together and I promise your kids are going to absolutely love them. So today I'm gonna to share one of my favorite challenges with you, which is the Shelf for the Elf Challenge. Kind of goes along with the favorite book that our kids love. I'm gonna show you a demo of how to put together this particular challenge and all of the components that are included. So everything I'm gonna share with you today, I'm gonna to link in the description below, as well as put the link to my STEM All Year Bundle if you're interested in purchasing challenges for the entire year. So the Shelf for the Elf Challenge is very simple. You are going to Construct the tallest shelf possible that will hold the elf, and your problem is the elf needs a safe and high place to sit that cannot be reached by children. This one is super easy to prep in advance. All you're going to need is Play-Doh, popsicle sticks, and paper L's. I usually put my kids together with partners for this particular challenge just because it's a little bit trickier to do in groups of three or four. As I usually do, I prep it in baggies in advance so it's really easy to pull out and implement right away. So one of the first things I always do when I introduce a STEM challenge to my students is we make connections to real world examples. Shelves are super easy to connect with students' environments because they have shelves all over the classroom. So we talk about different types of shelves, similarities and differences, what the purposes of shelves are, the different uses for shelves. And we also make connections to the horizontal lines, vertical lines and braces that are involved in shelf construction. Uh, with the big kids, we also connect it to three dimensional shapes and vertices. So these are some of the key vocabulary words to know that we really want to bring home for our students. Horizontal lines, vertical lines, joints, and supports. We also make connections to vertices for our upper grade kiddos. We also really want to prime our students' background knowledge by sharing some videos with them. So I have several different video links that your students can either scan on their own devices or you can click on the link on a digital view. There are several on engineering as well as how shelves are made and furniture makers, really making those connections to those word working skills that your students are practicing. I also have two differentiated organizers, one that is more appropriate for the lower grades and one that's more appropriate for the upper grades. So for the younger ones, they are going to draw a blueprint of their shelf design. They are going to test the different heights by measuring them. Of course, you can always use non-standard forms of measurement, such as linking cubes for the younger students. They're also going to count how many horizontal and vertical lines are included in their structure. And then for the upper grade kids, they're not only going to count their horizontal and vertical lines, they are going to count the joints or vertices that are included in their structure. They're also going to make connections between what types of three-dimensional shapes they can identify in their structure, and they're going to describe the improvements that they made in their design. Again, they are going to measure the heights of their shells, but they're going to be using standard forms of measurement for this particular lesson. So for the Shelf for the Elf Challenge, you only need Play-Doh, popsicle sticks, and some paper cutout elves. Your kids are going to blow you away with their creativity in these designs, so don't keep them limited to only those horizontal and vertical braces, but I'm going to show you a similar design that your kids might come up with. As always, I do not model these challenges for my kids before we actually complete them, so this is just a guideline for you. So we're gonna take some Play-Doh, and our Play-Doh is going to work as the joints on our shelf design. So I'm gonna make a couple different balls of Play-Doh. And we are gonna use these to connect the levels of our shelf. This is gonna be my bottom level. The more Play-Doh you use, the better because it sticks a little bit to the table and it gives a little bit more support. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the top level of my shelf. A little ball of red here. One can of Play-Doh is plenty for this particular challenge, but I 
wanted to make it a little more festive with some red and green to show you. So I'm making my horizontal here and make a little bit more with Play-Doh. So this is gonna be the second level of my shelf and now we are going to connect. Some of your kids will choose to make pyramid style designs. Some may choose to make more of a cube to make it a little bit more sturdy. I'm just doing a simple two level shelf. Many of them will figure out how to go up even higher from this particular design. And make sure that it's steady. And then our last step is to See if we can make our elf sit on top. So all you're going to do is fold on the dotted lines where they're in this seated, seated position. I always take a little bit of Play-Doh and stick it on the back of the card so it's a little bit sticky. And then your elf is going to sit right on top of your shelf like that. So also included in my Christmas STEM challenge pack are two other low prep challenges that your kids are sure to love. This one is called the Santa's Parachute Challenge, and this is one of the favorites among my upper grade kiddos. So for this particular challenge, you pretend that Santa's sleigh broke down and they have to construct a parachute that will help Santa land safely on the target and upright on the ground. And one wonderful thing about this challenge is you're gonna allow your kids to choose from a variety of materials to construct their parachute. They're really determining which properties are most suitable for an intended purpose. So for the canopy of their parachute, they get to choose between coffee filters and plastic tablecloths. For the suspension lines, you can use string, you can use fishing line, yarn, whatever you happen to have on hand. And then for the basket of their parachute, they can use either a Dixie cup or they can construct their own basket with index cards and tape. So this is a great way for them to test different styles of parachutes and see which ones work most appropriately for this particular challenge. I've also included a landing target that your Santa can land on to give them a little bit more of a challenge when it comes to that accuracy piece. The tallest tree challenge is a big favorite among all grade levels. You can even time it for the upper grades and make it more of a minute to win it challenge. All you need for the tallest tree challenge are cups. And in this case, I have mini cups. You can use mini cups, you can use regular size cups. These particular green cups I just ordered off of Amazon. You can find them at a party store as well. And the challenge is to construct the tallest possible tree. Your kids can do all different kinds of designs. They can also identify different three-dimensional shapes that are included in their designs. I have some extra little details that they can add ornaments if they would like to as well. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am about implementing these holiday STEM challenges in your class. I will see you again after the new year when I share my Valentine's Day STEM challenges with you. I hope you keep your kids engaged and excited and diving into STEM all month long. Happy holidays. Mm -hmm.